Can China outpace the United States in the race for nuclear energy dominance? As the two global giants vie for leadership in the energy sector, it's becoming increasingly clear that China's strategic investments are putting it ahead. Why has the U.S., once a pioneer, fallen behind in this crucial area? The answer lies in contrasting approaches to innovation, government support, and long-term vision. The nuclear energy rivalry between China and the United States is heating up. Energy forms the backbone of human progress, powering advancements across sectors like manufacturing, artificial intelligence, and agriculture. Traditional energy sources such as oil and coal are problematic. They pollute heavily and are slowly running out. Renewable options like solar and wind, though environmentally friendly, are unreliable due to their intermittent nature. Amid these challenges, nuclear power has emerged as the most promising solution, with controlled nuclear fusion seen as the ultimate breakthrough. In essence, the competition over nuclear power is a contest for future energy supremacy, a struggle closely linked to national development and strategic strength. The United States, once a pioneer in nuclear technology, has lost ground in recent years, bogged down by domestic issues and the short-term focus of private capital. Meanwhile, China has made rapid strides in nuclear energy, challenging America's technological dominance. In June, an American energy magazine published an article titled, China Leads the U.S. in Nuclear Power by 15 Years. It referenced a report by the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation that highlighted China's incredible progress in nuclear energy. In just two decades, China has surged ahead, advancing its capabilities by leaps and bounds, while the U.S. faces marginalization in this sector. A prominent MIT professor and expert in nuclear engineering has stated, China is undoubtedly the world leader in nuclear technology. At present, China is building 27 reactors, 2.5 times more than any other country. With the ability to complete six to eight reactors annually, China far outpaces other nations. On the other hand, the U.S., despite operating the largest number of reactors, has no new projects under construction. In the past decade, the U.S. built only two reactors, while China tripled its nuclear capacity in the same period, a feat that took the U.S. 40 years. If these trends continue, China will surpass the U.S. as the world's largest nuclear power producer by 2030. The stark difference in nuclear development between China and the U.S. can be attributed to their respective government policies and priorities for scientific advancement. For aspiring nuclear energy professionals, the choice is obvious. Invest their skills in a stagnating U.S. or join a rapidly expanding China, where opportunities abound. China offers a dynamic environment, brimming with opportunities to make meaningful contributions. Private investment in China's nuclear research has soared, increasing from $436 million in 2015 to $1.3 billion in 2020, a threefold rise in just five years. This growth was made possible by initial government investments, which took on early risks and paved the way for private companies. In the U.S., a lack of government involvement has discouraged private investment in foundational research contributing to its decline in the nuclear field. Six of the top companies investing in nuclear research are Chinese, leaving other nations far behind. New Scale Power, the leading U.S. company in the sector, has an R and D to revenue ratio of 1,045%, but it remains in the early development stages without any completed projects. Meanwhile, China's strategic efforts to attract talent and funding have fueled rapid innovation. This progress highlights the importance of government support in scientific research. Academically, China has also outperformed other nations. By the end of 2022, China ranked third in high-impact publications in nuclear science and engineering, and by 2023, it had surpassed the U.S. and Europe in both volume and influence of research. China also leads in the H-Index, a key indicator of academic impact. These achievements contradict the claims of those who doubt China's innovative capacity. Patents are another indicator of China's progress. Over the past 14 years, China's nuclear energy patents have risen by 1,560 percent, 
Though the U.S. still holds more patents, the gap is narrowing rapidly. Critics often accuse China of mere imitation, but this ignores the historical context. The U.S. itself industrialized by copying European technology. Alexander Hamilton, one of America's founding fathers, encouraged learning from Europe to accelerate the country's development. This part of American history is rarely mentioned in mainstream media, perhaps because it exposes the hypocrisy behind the criticism of China. Labeling China as a nation of imitators isn't about innovation. It's about undermining China's confidence and growth. Despite such criticisms, China has made remarkable progress. While the U.S. is increasingly distracted by domestic conflicts and corporate interests, the decline in American leadership is, in many ways, a consequence of the country's own flawed priorities. The obsession with short-term profits, coupled with a lack of strategic vision, has led to a stagnation of innovation. Instead of fostering an environment that promotes scientific research and technological advancements, the U.S. has allowed private interests to dictate the direction of its energy policies. This misguided approach has not only hampered the nuclear sector, but also weakened the nation's ability to compete globally. The result is a country that, despite its potential, is unable to keep pace with nations that prioritize the collective good over corporate gain. Unless the U.S. makes a concerted effort to shift its focus back to long-term investments and government-backed research, it will continue to fall further behind in critical technological areas. China's fourth-generation nuclear power plant in Gansu, the Dujig Molten Salt Reactor, recently became operational. Using molten salt instead of conventional fuel enhances both safety and environmental adaptability. This technology, initially developed at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the U.S., was abandoned due to funding constraints. China took over, refined it, and achieved significant breakthroughs. Meanwhile, TerraPower, the Bill Gates-backed venture, aims for a similar reactor by 2030, by which time China could already have several in operation. This evolution emphasizes the necessity of sustained government investment in high-tech projects. Without it, high-risk and high-cost ventures would likely fail. With the current political polarization in the U.S., any leader, whether Biden, Trump, or another, will find it challenging to focus on long-term technological investments, instead prioritizing short-term economic gains. As a result, America's technological edge is waning. The U.S. took a liberal economic path, privatizing public assets, which led to the stagnation of its manufacturing industry after the 1980s. Proponents of small government, big society, failed to foresee the long-term consequences. As a result, only a select group of capitalists prospered, while the broader public suffered. Last month, China's energy pioneer company achieved a significant milestone, net energy gain from a nuclear fusion reaction, a global first. Nuclear fusion is considered the ultimate energy source, and once fully realized, it could revolutionize the global energy landscape. China now leads the way in this field, setting the stage for the next major competition with the U.S. The U.S., having once dominated global technology, used its technological hegemony to impose sanctions and blockades. However, as emerging powers like China close the gap and even surpass the U.S., the latter now turns to sanctions instead of embracing competition. This double standard reveals America's fear of losing its technological supremacy. The nuclear power competition between China and the U.S. reflects two different models of development. China embraces independent innovation, supported by government funding, while the U.S. remains mired in a short-sighted, capital-driven model that neglects long-term scientific investments. This contrast builds confidence in China's future and casts doubt on America's waning leadership. Ultimately, the nuclear rivalry between China and the U.S. is about more than just technology. It's a strategic contest of national priorities. While China surges forward with a long-term vision, the U.S. risks falling behind unless it makes fundamental policy changes. The future of energy belongs to those nations with both the vision and determination to achieve it and China is well on its way. Do you believe the U.S. can regain its position as a leader in nuclear technology? Or is China set to dominate the future of energy? Share your thoughts below.